Hi guys, Joseph here. Today we're doing another Joseph car video and today we're going to be doing another video on my 2002 Volvo V70 and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the bulbs in the climate control unit. This video was meant to be uploaded on the 12th of December but coronavirus pushed that out. Because I came into contact with someone that had coronavirus. Yes, and I caught it and I went down with it. So, that's why you haven't seen a video for almost three weeks on this channel. It's because I had coronavirus and that's why. You do not want to ever catch this coronavirus. If you have really bad asthma and you get stuff like asthma attacks... You want to try and really be careful against this virus, because you do not want this. Especially if you have bad asthma, or bad disease in your bowel, or stuff like that. Any diseases like that, you really want to be careful. Like, anything, if you have cancer, diabetes, or whatever, you must be very careful. I had this virus, and it... It is awful. You, ha you have a high temperature. What I had is I ended up with bloodshot eyes. That's what I ended up with. It was, it's, awful. it's awful, this virus. You do not want this virus. And now, I'm out of self-isolation. I can get back to doing videos on the channel again. Yeah, so... Have a happy Christmas, because I didn't get... This is videos... Current, this is currently Christmas Day. Yeah, so you have a good Christmas. Yeah, and I hope 2021's a better year. So, let's get down to the car right now. So, first step to doing this is make life easier. I'm going to put it in auto, put it into low gear. If you don't have, if you take this out without disconnecting your battery, guys. You are going to trigger an SRS message up on the dash. Yeah, so if you don't have any software to clear your SRS, disconnect your battery, guys. Because I have the software, I'm not going to disconnect my battery. I'm just going to proceed. There you go, now you've ride this out. Now you can just lift this right out. Now to make life even easier, you can take this little trim out. This one's a little bit more difficult. So there's four clip tabs each corner. There you go, now that's out. Right guys, I've got it all stripped down here guys. Right guys, got the pen holder removed and the trim around the gear stick. Now, to remove the climate control is first, to remove the climate control, there are two T25 screws at the bottom. There's two T25s. There's two there as well, that's for the centre console. Go for the inner T25s. You'll see when you actually look at yours. Now we're going to undo that. Turn that way to loosen. And one tip, guys, before you forget. To, to prevent you from losing the screws. Slide a fin liner bag under here. Thing really helps, guys. This trick. Yeah, one tip, guys. Before you, you remove this, you are supposed to disconnect your battery. So 
So we're going to remove these screws at the bottom. Get the screw right there. That's one screw in there. That's one. Now we'll do the final on the driver's side. Because this is such a short screwdriver, you're not going to actually need to drop the handbrake. Now this is all loose. Put your screws somewhere that you're not going to lose them. There you go. Get a good pull. Now that's loose. Now you pry out. Two green connectors, one large one and a small green connector. I hope you guys can see. So push the top tab in to pull out and do the same with the other one. Now, guys, you can tilt it down. You can see that big one goes there and that small one goes there. And to, for this one, just pull upwards. And now that's disconnected. And now you can pull that out your way. Right guys, we're going to do all these Phillips screws in the back, there's one here, in the back there's one screw there, another one there, there, and also there, there's another screw, these two here, another one there guys, and another one there, and another one there, they're all screwed, they're all Phillips screws. We're, gonna, we're using a CR VPH0 Phillips head. Phillips spit. And I'm using it in just a, a, a screwdriver. If you can't get a Phillips screwdriver, you can use a flat end as well on Phillips screws, which I'm just going to do here. Because that's all I have. to you so you can see we're undoing that screw there so first we'll just take this bit off which will make your life a bit easier we'll leave that with the part there this is the part we're taking off here yeah? we're taking this bit to get the actual resistor itself out that's show you the thermostat. Here, that's the thermostat. And we leave the screws in the part. Because that's an actual part. So, that's that there. That's that. Out of the way. That's one less to be worried about now. Is the final.
final screw up here in this corner, right there. And all you can see that final screw up in the corner. Once that's out, all the screws are out of it. Now, now I think it comes to really need to start needing Right guys, now I've done all the clips, now this back, all oh, back should come off. Now that's that off, which will discover you some hidden away bulbs. There's some bulbs here. This is how you change all these bulbs. This is how you do a full bulb change to all these backlighting here. But if you want to change the bulbs in these switches, you're going to take the front off. So that's what we're about to do now. So, first, pull your 12 volt plug socket out, which I've just done there. Now, just try these paper thin clips. Now you get all these great clips. Be careful, these clips are paper thin. This has kind of stuck itself on, so that's something you're going to have to do. No? Right guys, you've got to start running this down the side. Try and keep it unstuck and just keep prying this off. And you've got to get right under here. There's a lot of glue we've got to get undone.
took a lot of work getting this out. And now, uh, here we go. Now, now you got this off. It's now time to get this panel bit off. These ain't too tough to get out. all comes out and right guys you might need up to two these switches guys take two three bulbs this is a blank that doesn't take a bulb at all this is your this one's your limited security to get them out it's just give them a bit of a pull upwards Use good love to help if you need. Bit of a wiggle upwards. An easy switch. An easy bulb right on the back. It's a T3 bulb. And to undo it, you just put in the snip and drop out. Guys, this blue stuff, you just got to cut out it off and put it on your new bowl. Which is here. And also, your STC. Is it STC buttons. Don't forget the order it goes in. Remember, it goes in this order. I like to put it in the order over here. That's a limited security. Easy blank. And here's the STC. Right guys, here's the old bowl. We've got to take this little blue film off. Now what I'll do is I'll just... Like this, here it is. And now... Uh, apply. I'll put another pry here. You know, pulls off. Thought I'd need a knife, but didn't look like I need it. Yeah, so they come off. Yeah, that's what covers these up. Now, we'll open up the pack of new bulbs and we'll wrap this back on the new bulb. And that's how you keep its original dash colour. Right. 
He's on it. No, I'm just gonna cut up the. Here goes the pack in here. Now here's a new bowl here. Look at the little blue bit. Put it over on the new bulb. Quite well stuck now. A bit of a pull down. You know, you drop it in the back of the bulb. Now just dropped it in. Now you just tighten it down. You got to mix, drop that bulb right in. And you drop the STC bulb in. Now, the second bulb, same principle applies. Now, You drop that in. So now that's it. Now you're gonna go and just start putting this back together. Hey yeah, guys, after you've mounted your bulbs in, I'd recommend to go and make sure everything works and it does. So when taking it to the car and check it. Now you get put this back on, got to line it up really carefully. on now the resistor can go back on now put all your blanks in if you have more lights you'll have to change you can change all of them you get up to seven switches And here's the blank. All it is is what the blanks look like. Now you put that in. You just put six in there, it doesn't actually do anything. Now, get this plate. This goes back on. And it comes back in. Now, this is going to come back on there.
Yeah, guys, you saw it in this one. Right, sock bottom in, then your top. There you go. Now, it's time to screw it all back together. Right guys, then you start to slot all the screws back in. resistor there you go, just put all the screws in and now the final bit is now is you just put your 12 volt plug in and that is it now we're going to go and pull, stick this back in the car. So, we'll put the cigarette connector back in first. Or your 12 volt wire, which is a solid socket. So, get that fully inserted. Now, we've got the small electrical connector and push that back in. Now grab the other green connector and insert that. Now, to insert this, that way to sit. Now, firmly push it in. Now that's fully clicked in. Now you get that inserted. I'm going to put this this way. Got all that shifter nice and... If you have a nice shifter like mine, a nice one, Cover it up if it's, if it's a nice wood one. Alright, mine's a wood shifter, so I didn't want to ruin mine, so I covered mine up with some masking tape. Just didn't want to scratch it. That's what you do if you have a nice shifter, cover it up. And you do your final and push all your trims here back in. Right guys, I'm just going to be pushing the finals back in.
There you go. And you slot it in there. The clip's down. And finally, it feels good to get this back in. So about poor camera quality because it is night time. But I've just been sick of running this without this trim there. Final bit is to put in the pen hole, so I'm going to be back any second. Alright guys, now push this in. Right guys, push it all in. Right guys, here's the bulb in action. Just, I just put my ignition on. And here's your bulbs in action. Give a look. It's quite nice and bright. You can clearly see it. There's all the bulbs here. See, if you want to change your bulbs in here, it ain't too difficult. I'll put my interior light on for you. If you can change your bulbs in all these all the other bulbs if you want to change the bulbs in this section you don't have to take this front off it's only this section and you can have up to seven switches down here especially if you have the top of the range version of this if you have all parking sensors automatic folding mirrors and all the other options i think the other mode 4c modes and all sorts of that down there which some I've seen these V70s guys is where they only have limited security. Some of these don't have the STC in it. Some have DSTC or STC. They're all the same switches. No matter what the switch is. Just remember the order it goes in. And that's what you do. The reason I say remember the order, because if you put that there, it could cause an electrical problem. So I recommend you to leave it in the same order as what it was. So that's what, that's how I'll tell you to do it, guys. That's just so you don't cause any issues with your car. Like, like if you change a bulb up here, like the bulb in this section, you change it for your rear demister, your front demisters here. And also, if you turn the bulb in that section, it'll also go over the heated seat controls, if you have heated seats. I'll, I'll link all the bulbs for this in the description. I'll link all the types of bulbs for this and the amounts. If you want to do a full bulb change, change all this backlighting and this bit as well. And that's what I'm going to cover in this video. Sorry guys, just about that sudden pause, my battery got pretty low, so I just had to start the car. So here's all the bulbs. It's nice and bright when it's running. You can see it a bit better. So that's just how all the bulbs work. And guys, if you have a word to think in replacing this system make sure you match your part numbers for this unit if you to change a whole unit because if you you can put the wrong one in and that's what I, I don't want you doing it and messing your car up triggering an SRS message up on the dash that's what I don't want you doing guys because you'll have to get the scanner out to clear it if you do trigger an SRS message. But if you're leaving the ignition off, in my experience with this car in specific, it doesn't seem to trigger the SRS message when I take this out and I didn't disconnect my battery. That's just from experience with this car. I don't know about other V70s. So that's just the whole experience. I don't know if you know this issue. I sometimes have issues with fans me. I'm not having issues right now. When I turn this up, the heat's it keeps when I turn upwards like it keep doing that. 
it'll only go up there and go back. Even though I'm turning that way, he's going up to that section and going back. I don't know what the issue is. I'll just ask if you know that issue, guys. Yeah. Because I've never been able to work it out. Just wondering if you know, guys. Yeah, so... I'm just giving you the best explanation I can give you with this. And one thing, guys, is be careful with the resistor. Some people call it the cabin temperature sensor. And some people... And, and if you're going to get your car valeted, tell the valeter to be careful of the temperature sensor. Cleaning one of these. Be careful of the cabin temperature sensor because they're very, very fragile. That's just what I'm going to say. They can be very fragile parts of the car. And you don't want to damage it. I'm just helping you out here, guys. But that's just what I'm going to say. that's just basically it right guys now we're gonna go off and end off this video so right now right guys we're gonna end off this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any content like this and have a nice day